بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن این آؤٹ سیٹ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو کانگریچولیٹ ڈاکٹر آل فیمی اینڈ دا یونی کریبین یونیورسٹی اینڈ دا سوئس بزنس اسکول فار آرگنائزنگ دس ورلڈ لیڈر سمٹ دس ورلڈ لیڈر سمٹ ریپرزینٹیشن from Arab, Asia, Africa, and Europe that consists of almost around 80% of the population of the world. So it's truly a, a global summit. When you talk about leadership, the leadership is a very subjective word. You know, leadership alone does not mean anything. You need a good leader or a bad leader or an excellent leader. So, you know, there is a great deficit of good leaders in the world. You can find many leaders, but whom you can, by definition or by characteristics, whom you can term as a good leader. So this conference on the world, the Leadership Summit, will pave a lot of the deliverables for promoting and incentivize the new and the good leaders of the world. As today's topic, you know, is promoting economic, business and security through technology. I'm sure, you know, everybody speaking in this hall is connected to technology some way or the other. And uh, it's, it's easy for me to ask that who is not involved in, in technology or connected to technology. I'm sure, you know, that there is no hand raised over here now. So in the current world, in the current world, the technology is embedded in every sector. The economic growth of the country, now we see, you know, as is, is dependent on technology. We are based in Dubai since 1958. When my father came to Dubai, there was no water supply, no electricity, no roads, no cars. And I remember, you know, in 58 when he started business, the initial times, you know, the orders to the Europe and the UK and the US used to go by telegram. Then came telex. Maybe very few knows about telex, you know, nowadays. Then came fax. Then came, you know, ER, now the orders are done through ER. So, you know, as we advance on technology, the business growth with the same amount of resources, we can do much more business. When you talk about security, there are two types of security, you know, or maybe more, but I will focus on two types. One is the physical security and one is the data security or, you know, the data science security. In physical security, you know, now we see wherever we go, the entire cities are on surveillance, you know, they can, the, they can know the activity of the movements of the people and everything and make the city more secure. We are fortunate to live in Dubai, which is one of the most secured city in the world. So, it's not because that, you know, everybody uh, has, uh, we are into an environment where, you know, the surveillance is good, the, the, uh, the law of the land is strict, and with all those put together, it become a more secure place. A few days back, I was in one conference on the, on the data security and one of the biggest threat in the data security and, uh, and, the, uh, and the business uh, technology security is the ransomware. So many companies and so many uh, organizations have been affected by that. Lot, uh, they have lost millions of dollars lost the entire data and even in many cases even paying by ransom you know you don't get the data so securing the data securing your your, uh, your your business through technology building such firewalls where you know the, your, your data is secured has become an imperative earlier you know having a computer and using a computer on a on a net was just good enough with 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 us 
with a minimal you know this uh, virus protection we used to have but now with the cross border and and as one we live in one world as far as technology is concerned so the security on the data has become an utmost imperative so this all these things you know put together in a technology space so it's like a, a race of cat and mouse you know the the technology evolves become more secure the hackers find a different way to penetrate so it's a continuous evolution on securing your data and you know the, the vulnerability against against that so we we are in the we need to have a constant upgrade on the technology and in that way you know we can secure our data our business and nowadays it's not only my data which is which is affected or i'm concerned about my data it's like you know when we have just uh, passed from the from the pandemic the greatest pandemic of the century you know and now we see you know corona in the rear view mirror but still you know it's visible in certain places of the world but you know in that we found that even if the person is healthy you know and if he is found positive he has to be quarantined because he himself is healthy he will not get sick but he can transmit it to others so that was called asymptomatic in the same way if my data is infected and if i pass it on to others you know my clients and my uh, my my partners and my associates even their data will be affected so it's not only protecting my own data and my own uh, business it's protecting the data and and the business of all whom i am dealing with and if not done properly you can be in a legal trouble you know you can have a have a lawsuit against you you know against this. so this is a very imperative requirement of protecting and securing the business economy and uh, uh, through technology so technology has been as it's evolving you know and now we are talking about metaverse and once go into the metaverse that that opens a, again a pandora box on securities of the metaverse so you know and, and as we go advance in technology securing those things becomes a very very uh, necessary thing so i'm very grateful to dr olofemi and and uh, the uni caribbean university for giving me this opportunity to address the august audience or august audience present over here and we look forward to interact with all of them and see you know the from this deliverables will a wonderful outcome and positive notes will come out which will help us to to take us uh, our business our economies and and the security to the next level thank you thank you